What's up guys, welcome to Ballistic Bricks and I'm excited for today's video, I really hope you are too. Today we're building the Modular Palace Cinema build. Came out, what, 11 years ago now? So, this is quite an old build. It goes for around £350 now, which is quite extreme, but not too bad for a retired modular, especially being 11 years old. But today we picked this up on AliExpress for only £50 and we're going to be seeing if it's worth buying and if it's worth your money. If you guys don't really know me personally, you might not know that I'm a massive film buff and it's a massive part of my personality. Right now I'm actually studying film at college, so that and letterbox kind of keep me going. And while I'm building Lego, you'll catch me watching about four to five films per build. Now why is that important? That's important because the cinema modular, I loved it as soon as I saw it. And it's a big link to the actual cinema. I go to cinema all the time, once or twice a week, to go see all the latest films. So having that in my LEGO City would be a really nice personal touch for me. I think that's important about LEGO Cities, it being personal to you. Because if you just build something and you, it's like at the bank or whatever, even though they're really nice modulars, you don't really have any connection to them. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, you might know that I've got a big problem with the base plates of fake builds. And I've even for this video tried um, the kettle trick where you put boiling water over a base plate and then level it out and hopefully get it to come straight. Now that didn't work for me. This, I don't know if you can really see this on camera, but this is really bent and it didn't work. So what I've done instead is purchase some of these. If you live in the UK, you might know Smith's Toy Superstores. And I've actually purchased some of the base plates from there. They're a bit thicker. However, spoiler alert they're not as good um as real lego base plates i already know that even though they're a bit thicker you'd think they'd be a bit more structurally sound however that's not the case they are still bending up a little bit for me now i'm going to continue down this path anyway and see if it's worth putting on um and maybe just make a whole street full of these maybe a bit thicker base plates so then the road the differences between a lego road and the modulars are a little bit less so i'm going to be building on that base plate today it is red the same as the palace cinema modular but yeah i've already started sorting it's important to know that this whole build from aliexpress is split into three main bags now those three bags are split up into about 10 different bags each but it does give you a little bit of coordination when you are building now, I'm really excited for this build, and I'm sure you are too, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, so bag one is now complete. It's all separated. I've um, got it in my drawers and everything. We're ready to build bag one. I have bought the minifigures, and they do look very creepy, I'm not going to lie. The actual prints of the bodies are great. It's just the faces are so bad and creepy that it's hard to even look at. The instructions look great. Um, the printing looks really good. We've got some stickers here for the set. Pretty sure this is the only modular that contains stickers. And the stickers don't look too bad. I'm not sure this one's how that's meant to look. But all the other ones, um, I don't really see any trouble with them. Okay, um, I give in. Not the best thing of me to do, but the Smith's base plate is starting to bend. I am anti-bend. Um, I cannot stand it. It drives me crazy. I've gone and bought a real Lego base plate. Now, this actually looks like it bends a little bit too, but that's it, it will be fine because it's real Lego. This is the best I can get. It's a red one. It's hard to get red ones. It cost me around £12 to actually buy and ship. Came in about three days from Britlink, so I'm happy with it. But I'm just letting you know that the Smiths, even though they're double-sided and they're stronger, probably aren't the best for building modulars on. Maybe for other LEGO projects, I'm going to look into them in the future. But right now, I'm going back to the LEGO and ignore the horrible attempt at studio lighting I've got going on here.
Okay, so the build is now done, and I've just got to say I am in awe. I'm I'm really surprised by this because it was, it, well, it exceeded my expectations so much. Um, as you can see, it looks absolutely great. My biggest complaint would be um, I ordered a real Lego base plate, as I've said, and putting the actual bricks onto it after they had already been put onto another base plate uh, made them a little less sturdy. So I'd say um, definitely you can't really reuse a lot of the pieces. Um, I'm sure they'll be okay too, but they won't be as strong as your first time build. Now let's look into each floor of this and break down what looks good. Now obviously this is like basing it off the Lego design a little bit, this kind of review part, but the inside has got some nice detail with it, stairs go nice, and honestly, once you started going from brick to brick, uh, the build felt like a real Lego build, I was really impressed, and it does look great, we'll just spin around and look at the other side, um, yeah, so pretty standard, but still a nice little build. Uh, second floor has impressed me as well. Um, this actual sticker for the cinema like screen doesn't look maybe as good as it could do. I don't know if that's a Lego design or a cinema design, but it still looks good. I mean, and this is actually my favorite, well, out of the two proper layers of the building, this is definitely my favorite one. We've got a whole cinema screen here with a few seats. We've got the projection camera, which looks really nice. And obviously stairs going up again but i yeah i really like this part of the build um and it, it definitely has a lot of character to the actual cinema and finally the roof of this just looks absolutely fantastic it actually is the drawing point to the build and it just looks incredible and all put together exteriorly is that a word exteriorly the exterior of this build just looks absolutely fantastic and it's definitely one of my favorite modulars that I've built so far. The detail looks superb and yeah I'm just so impressed with how the roof's gone. We've um, got the door here to get to the top and um, we'll just have a look on the inside of this. It does look really nice. It's the, the structural build is impressive and I'm honestly blown away. Um, I, if you've watched my review on the fire station build modular you may know that my biggest trouble um, was perhaps some of the screwier parts but this wasn't a problem on this one and the whole thing just looked great let me just get a bit of light on that um, it just really impressed me and I didn't have any problems apart from actually putting it onto the Lego base plate that was the only part where there was a bit of like difficulty in terms of the actual build but everything else felt exactly like real Lego. The instructions um, were a bit of a problem at times. They Sometimes the colouring is a bit off, but once you get used to it after the first like 15 pages, you're going to be completely fine. And this is brimming with spare parts as well. These are all my spare parts. And I am really impressed that we got so many. Um, loads of guns as well. I'm not sure we got loads of guns, but I mean, I suppose I'll take them. And yeah, the spare parts were a really nice addition because normally you'd think they give you the bare minimum, uh, these fake companies. But no, this AliExpress modular has really impressed me. It's actually my favorite one I've done so far. I think the outcome is fantastic and I'm really happy with it. So that was my review of the Palace Cinema modular build. Um, Lego did a fantastic design with this and I'm really happy that um, AliExpress have made this easily available. I would have had to spend around £350, like I've said, on this set if it wasn't for this. Now, I got this for around, I'd say, £55 in total, including shipping, um, £55 that is. So, the fact that I've been able to get this fantastic modular for a good price is really impressive. Now, the base plate cost me around £12 separately, like I've said. So, what a total price of £67 for. Probably one of my favourite modulars of all time, especially in terms of exterior and a modular I would never get to build normally unless it was for AliExpress. So if you're a bit hesitant to try out some of these modulars to expand your Lego City, then I mean, if you like the look of this, then definitely go for it. Maybe buy your own base plate is my biggest advice, but 
I'm really happy with this. I think it looks great. And the outcome has really pleased me. It's going to look great when the LEGO City starts coming together. And if you want to see how that starts coming together, make sure to maybe stick around on the channel because it is coming soon and we do have more modular reviews soon. And we also have other modular reviews on the channel if this is your first video. We've got loads of other ones, especially about the fire station and loads of reviews of alternative LEGO. So thank you so much for watching once again. I've been Ballistic Bricks and I'm super happy with this build. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.